Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin is recovering in his New York home after being released from the hospital. Now he took to social media today to say watching the world come together around me on Sunday was truly an amazing feeling. He went on to say the same love you all have shown me is the same love that I plan to put back into the world and more bigger than football. Hamlin collapsed seconds after a tackle on January 2nd. He received CPR and needed a defibrillator to get his heart started again. According to the American Heart Association, more than 365,000 people in the U.S. each year have sudden cardiac arrest in non-hospital environments. The world was watching in horror when the Buffalo Bills player Damar Hamlin collapsed on the field and went into cardiac arrest. Now, luckily, there was a trainer from the Bills that knew CPR, raced to the field, and they were able to save his life. But moving forward, would you, would I, this got me to thinking, would I be able to save somebody's life? So we wanted to do a refresher course. We reached out to our friends at the American Heart Association. They say they saw a 200% increase in traffic on how to do CPR. This is something obviously people want this knowledge. So we invited our friends from Prisma Health. This is nurse Don Kimura, who's also the program manager for STEMI. Um, and you work with the American Heart Association yes, on getting us educated on how to do this. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so one of the biggest things we need to do is to check for awareness. There's only two steps to doing um, hands-only CPR. Okay. That's call 911, get an AED, and then push hard and fast in the center of the chest. And most people are very surprised at how difficult that can be to do that on an adult. So we're going to demonstrate that today. All right, you go ahead and step up. So the first thing you're going to do, call 911. Is there an AED in the building? Somebody find it. The next step, get your hands on the person. So where are we looking for? All right, Bob, Bob, are you okay? He's not responding to me. He's not breathing. I want to look midline. So I want to look for the nipples okay. and draw an imaginary line right to the Directly center. Directly between the nipples on the sternum. Yes, on the sternum. You want to use your dominant hand interlock your fingers and you're going to push hard and fast so you're going to go pretty deep with where you have to go sometimes it takes a little bit to get your hands just in the right spot and you want to push it's hear that clicking sound yes. you're going to go to 100 to 120 compressions per minute and continue to do that with very limited um, stopping no more than 10 seconds because you want to continuous compressions to keep that blood flowing. All right, so we are not doing the two breaths anymore, guys. Please pay attention to that recommendation. You're looking for the nipples. You're going between the nipples and everybody knows I'm really small. I'm 5'1 um, and I had, you know, worried if I was strong enough or big enough to be able to do this and even I can do it. The click means I'm going down far enough and you said it's pushing one to one and a half inches and that's a very very deep push, but you can't be afraid to hurt the person, correct? Can't be afraid to put, hurt the push person, especially if you're um, looking to save someone's life. You want to do it deep, you want to do it fast, so it's hard and fast at 100 and 120 beats per minute. And make sure you're on a hard, flat surface as well. That's really important because that'll help Get with the patient to the ground first. Yes. All right, last thing. We used to say staying alive. When I learned from the American Heart Association, they said do it to staying alive, which is ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, staying alive, but you said the kids, they don't know staying alive. They do not. The Bee Gees and Disco have truly died with our next generation. All right, so there's a list, a playlist on Spotify. There is a playlist on Spotify. It's called Don't Drop the Beat, and it's got all of the um, songs on that list are 100 to 120 beats per minute. All right, there you go. The basics of CPR so that in the worst case scenario, you could possibly have the best outcome. Dawn, a nurse at Prisma, thank you for everything you do. Thank you. And you can reach out to Prisma or to the American Heart Association if you would like to find a CPR class near you.